What's going on guys, it's Greeny here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about a general market analysis. I'm longing Bitcoin to over $100,000. You wanna check this one out, lots of alpha in this one. As always guys, subscribe down below, smash the like button as well. It does help me grow as a content creator and I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my private alpha group down below where you can get more daily access to me and other callers in this space. As always guys, here's the video. That's right, guys. I'm longing Bitcoin to over $100,000. Here's why. All right. Before I start, guys, uh, always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. But Bitcoin is on a road to $100,000. And here is why. So if we look at a history of Bitcoin and its price history um, after its post halving. So we just had the halving last week. If you do take a look at this, what is the common theme here, guys? We see that we see a massive increase and then we see a massive decrease and then a massive increase, decrease, massive increase, decrease, massive increase. And we're halfway through the cycle or thereabouts, okay, um, as the, the halving has just um, occurred. So essentially, the halving just means that Bitcoin supply that can be mined has just halved, okay, from the previous amount. And that ultimately expires before you and me probably live out the rest of our lives in 2130. But for us at the moment, the Bitcoin halving is always significant because it sees a massive inflow of potential retail buyers, but obviously this time we have the ETF um, inflow buyers as well and massive companies and massive hedge funds, etc. around the world who are wanting exposure to Bitcoin. So this is why I'm longing it to over $100,000. Um, and as you can see here, the trend is your friend, so don't fade the trend. But if we take a look at some of our, our Bitcoin price history, guys, um, you'll start to see a common trend. But as you can see here, um, it has a, a range of history. So this asset is all is about 14 years old. So you are technically uh, still quite early, but as you can see here, it trends, okay, very positively and then has one year of bearishness, okay, and that bearishness is often during the bear market. So as you can see here, guys, 2022 most recently was our bear market. Now, at the start of 2023, so last year, Bitcoin was only 16,500. So that was near close to the bottom of about 15.7K um, that we saw at the end of last year. So Again, history repeats, guys. Um, sorry, history doesn't repeat, but it also rhymes, all right? So if you do have a look here, guys, over time, before the halving, it was um, at $10. This is in 2012, okay? A day after, it pumped a little bit, 30 days after, a little bit more, but 188, 180 days later, it is over a 10x returns in 2012. Similar, in 2016, it was over a 2x, okay? Obviously, in 2020, using diminishing returns because as the market cap gets bigger, the returns are obviously less, um, but as you can see here, it was up 50%, and that's only within 180 days. So this cycle remains um, very bullish for what we could potentially achieve. So if we take into consideration that two cycles ago, it was a 2x after 180 days, um, and last cycle was a 50% gain, let's say it's 25% gain on around 70,000, okay? So 25% of 70,000 would see it be pushing close to 100K within 180 days. So if we have a look again at some of the inflow, okay, um, and this is what I like to use, dgen.finance to track sort of why I would be looking for the market to maybe um, move up over the coming months, okay? So I use the ETF inflows of all these companies worldwide. I use TradingView to track um, weekly closes and daily closes to see what the trend is, is doing. And obviously I use social metrics to make sure, such as Google Trends, to make sure that I'm, I'm maybe starting to make some some profit takings ahead of the normies before they start to get in. But always come to um, these sort of statistics to make sure that you are staying up to date with what's happening in the market. As you can see here, guys, post halving, we've seen a massive um, increase in green, okay, after a week of sort of red market. So it's always good to see inflows starting to be quite large again. As you can see here, two twelve point three billion dollars of green inflow into these Bitcoin ETF. So that puts pressure on these companies to purchase Bitcoin so that they can hold it on their records. That's always good to watch. If this starts to go red, okay, if we're seeing a lot of red here, that means that these um, capital institutions are starting to take profits and that's what I would use to maybe scale out of my spot portfolios, but also maybe scale out of my leverage trade. So if we have a look at Bitcoin's chart, guys, what I like to do is essentially study the past, right? So that I can make informed decisions for the future. So right now we've been consolidating and last cycle, obviously, before we broke up into an all-time high, we also consolidated. So as you can see here, the all-time high was around that nineteen to $20,000. We consolidated here for probably about a month and a half. And that's what's currently happening here, guys. We're currently consolidating at the previous all-time highs. Okay, so one and two, and we're consolidating before we move up in the coming months. 
obviously on the road to over $100,000 in my opinion. Now, $100,000 obviously from this current price is still quite a nice return. So 50% um, return from the current point of time. So as we said before, 25% based on the history of diminishing returns is what we would expect maybe in the next 180 days. So that's six months. So if we look at what that could be, so I think um, in theory, okay, and I honestly think maybe this cycle is a little bit different because we do have these huge hedge funds. Um, we have banks that want exposure um, to Bitcoin. So I actually think maybe 25% is being conservative in the next 180 days, so six months time periods. But anyways, that puts us at around that $84,000 mark um, in the coming 108 days. So as you can see here, that would put us at um, around $84,000 um, by December this year. I think we front run that quite aggressively. I actually think the, the top of the market cycle could be um, in the start of 2025. So for me, I think we definitely hit 100K sooner rather than later. That's why I'm longing it um, at the moment because we are consolidating, okay? And I think this is a great opportunity for the potential last... Um, dip in the market um, before we do start to see all-time highs once again. And if you do track it, guys, we are down around 10% from all-time high. We did see a dip of 20%. And that's really generous, okay, because the market loves to give you some dips in um, bull markets and you always want to be DCAing into these dips. So buying the fear um, when you're in a bull market, okay? When you're in a bear market, it's obviously the opposite, okay? You want to be making sure you're preserving your capital, okay? But right now, we're in the thick and thin of a bull market. Now, the other thing I want to just talk about quickly on this is essentially higher highs. So as you can see here, we're making higher highs over on the left and we were making higher lows on the left, uh, on the bottom, sorry. And we did that twice, okay? So we had a double peak last cycle. And what I would like to be doing once we start to maybe reach the end of this year and the start of next year, I'd be very aggressively looking at the daily closes and the weekly closes. So this is a weekly chart um, to see what's happening in the market. And as soon as we start to break some of these trends, that's often a, a time to at least scale out majority of your bag, okay? Because we are up quite considerably. A lot of people would have been buying Bitcoin down here below 30,000, if not around that $20,000 mark. So for me, I definitely am looking to scale out a profit around 100,000, if not higher. The last thing I like to consider, guys, and why I like to maybe think that longing right now during consolidation to over 100,000 is the best play is looking at the social metrics. So as you can see here, we still have a lot of room to go, okay? So the previous two cycles, we saw massive inflows in social metrics on Google Trends, okay? So this is crypto and Bitcoin, okay? So what I'd like to see is this moving up towards that 50 percentile mark, and then that's when I, again, like to maybe consider taking some profits off the table. But that's um, obviously my main reasoning behind getting into Bitcoin now during this consolidation phase and longing it to over $100,000. So there you have it, guys. There's my market analysis and why I'm longing Bitcoin to over $100,000 USD. As always, guys, please subscribe down below. Don't forget to smash the like button as well because I really do appreciate it and it does help me grow as a content creator. As always, guys, take care and I will see you again soon.